Charles, Kenny, uh, Shaq, and and um, they were about to talk about they gonna have a reaction on on the Pelicans and the um, Blazers, the reason why they lost the game and the reason why they down 0-2. The biggest reason why they're down 0-2 is Damian Lillard and C.J. McCullen are too perimeter oriented. These two guys, they shoot way too many jump shots. They're, neither one of them are willing playmaker. Is not a willing playmaker. And what I mean by that is neither one of them gets a lot of other guys, the others is what Shaq call them, uh, involved in the game. They have to get Nurkic the ball. He has to at least have 20 touches, man. He's a skilled big man. He, he can shoot perimeter shots. He got uh, moves around the basket. He rebounds the ball well. And they don't give him the ball enough. When those two guys are coming in again, and they those two guys are starting, when those two guys are in the game, the, the offense is focused around those two guys, and the other guys are usually uh, just standing around and, and like getting like scraps off the uh, you know the backboard. Those One of those guys have to be a conscious uh, playmaker as well as scoring. And to me, it may benefit the Blazers if one of them come off the bench. So the other one can lead the second unit and and um, one of them lead the first unit. You know, have C.J. McCullough come off the bench and let him lead the second unit to init, uh, to initiate some offense because when both of those guys are off the floor, they have no one else on their team coming off the bench that can initiate offense or get their own shot. But I think on the all se- at the uh, on the all season they're gonna have to trade one of these guys and get a a wing a wing player that can um, defend and can um, get his own shot because another thing th- these two guys are like what six three six four I think Damian Lillard is six three six two and um, C J McCollum like six four so defensive wise they are a liability. This is it. Charles Barkley is the, is the butt of jokes on this show. He has always been since he's been there. And, um, you know, Charles Barkley is good for TV, man. Charles Barkley is, is, a, is a magnet for TV. He makes he makes his show go. And, um, you know, they added Shaq a couple years ago. Shaq is, you know, Shaq is Shaq. But uh, Charles Barkley is the guy that, that keeps this show, you know, afloat and keeps, uh, you know, attention on this show with his, um, you know, his statements and, him calling out players, especially LeBron James, uh, over the last couple of years. That's why you can't play. 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 That's why you can not play that is 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 why you can uh, you could dominate the game in many different ways. They only dominate the game with their scoring. You know, they got to dominate the game with their playmaking. These guys got to play defense, which is a lot. They have a lot of deficiencies with their height, but they have to play better defense. And they have to be willing passers and um, playmakers. And, and they're not doing that. Rondo and um, my guy on the other end, they're doing that. Rondo with his defense. Rondo is a dominant playmaker. Rondo is a willing playmaker. He's a passer, you know. And Drew Holiday, he's able to uh, slide over to the uh, shooting guard position and just be a playmaker and score. And they balance out each other. Uh, you know, C.J. McCullen and Damian Lillard is good for the regular season, but in the playoffs, you know, teams have a book on you. They have a, a way that they want to play you, and you have to bring more to the table. And they not just they just not bringing that much to the table. They're being outplayed. By Drew Holiday and uh, Rondo. Rondo thrives at, and he is able to create a pace. We talked about this in Game One, but create a pace that everyone is going to feel comfortable in, and they're going to run. The, the one thing, if you ever notice, when Rondo, after they make the outlet to Rondo, everyone, everyone is in this mode because they know, because they know they're going to get the basketball. When other point guards get it, guys are in trap mode. Because they know Rondo is going to get them the ball in the right spots. That's why they run like that. That's why they run the floor like that. Uh, they know Rondo throughout his career 
He's been the guy that sets guys up. He 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 wrote about his shot last. Rondo is a throwback point guard. He's a guy that what a point guard supposed to do. He's supposed to number one control the pace. Number two, know where everyone needs to be at. Need to put guys where they need to be at when they out of position. Because I'm running to my spot. But if I run and bust my butt to get the area to the floor, this guy sets a pace where I'm going to score. And that, that is big. But the one thing that Lilla and McCullum got to understand, and Shaq understands it, and I understand <laughs> You know, it's so much pressure on you when you're a star, especially in the playoffs. Because you get all the credit, but you get all the blame. You know, nobody ever says, Mark West. Well, I think uh, T.J. McCollin and Lillard should get all the blame for them being down 0-2, Charles, because they have the ball in their hands the most. They have the most usage rates between those two. Those two probably have half of the usage rates on over half of the usage rates on the on the whole team, and take more shots than you know five or six guys combined on the team. So yes, they're gonna get the blame. But like I said, uh, I don't think they're gonna be able to come down from 0-2. But or you know what I'm saying, we will see. They're just too perimeter-oriented. They, they're, they're trying to play like the Golden State Warriors, and what they got to fail to realize is, people got to fail to realize, Golden State Warriors uh, have the, 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 probably the two best shooters on the, on team, on the team at once and in thir- the third with Kevin Durant in uh, NBA history. Those guys are not only scorers, they are three-point specialists. It's a difference between being a three-point specialist and just a scorer. Damian Lillard and C.J. McCullough are scorers. They're not three-point specialists. They can get hot from three sometimes, but there's no middle ground. Either they are hot from three or they're shooting a, a woeful uh, percentage. You know, uh, Clay Thompson and even Durant and uh, definitely Steph Curry. Uh, Steph Curry and Clay Thompson are three-point specialists as well as scorers. That's what makes them the best, the best uh, scoring or shooting um, backcourt in NBA history to me. But uh, we'll see if they can come back. But I don't think they're going to be able to come back because now you got the, um, you know, you got uh, Drew Holiday and Rondo has so much, you know, confidence now. It's going to be hard for them to, to uh, take that confidence away from them. And you know what I'm saying? So and then you got to worry about Anthony Davis going off. Anthony Davis has not had a dominant game yet. You got to worry about him having a dominant game. When he have a dominant game, then, you know, it's no way the Blazers are going to be able to, be able to beat them. So... Uh, you know, we'll see what uh, happens. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm out.